Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Lord, for keeping us alive today to hear the word of the Lord. Our topic scripture today is Mark 11, 17 to 26. The book of Mark 11, chapter 11, from 17 to 26. The topic is Life is too brief for grudges. Life is too brief for grudges. I want to tell you this true life story of an undergraduate lady who refused to forgive her roommate due to a serious offense. She was bitter that her trusted friend had lied against her, that is, false accusation. She carried this grudge for years, but after graduation, she could not get a job. There were instances where people with lesser qualifications were chosen while she was mysteriously rejected. The lady who actually lied against her was also gainfully employed. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Most times, the mercy of God cannot be explained at all. This strange dilemma went on for five years and life became terrible for her. During our fasting program, which was provoked by the fact that she was living under closed heavens, the Holy Spirit spoke to her about releasing forgiveness to her university roommate. She obeyed and looked for her, for that her friend, though it was hard. And within two weeks, she got a fantastic job in one of the telecommunications firms. <laughs> Amazing. The fact which the Holy Ghost wants you to know is that life is just too brief to waste it in nothing any grudge against anybody. God wants you to know that each time you are bitter or unforgiving, your heavens become closed and breakthroughs become scarce or slowed down. That is the actual meaning of today's scripture, verse 25 and 26. No wonder, no wonder, our God Almighty said, we don't have to revenge because when we are revenging or revenge to any sin somebody committed against us we are digging two graves when your heavens are closed it is not equal to death fight bitterness one reason joseph had a cloud of divine favor always around him was because he forgave his wicked brothers and cruel Potiphar's wife very quickly. Learn to forgive very quickly. Learn to forgive people. The only devils in this world are those running around in our hearts. And that's where our battles should be fought. In our hearts. Refuse to be your own enemy. So many people are their own enemy. They will come and be complaining. Refuse it. Refuse to be your own enemy. And refuse to allow a fellow human like you to limit your destiny's heights in life and ministry. Forgive someone today. And watch daily against a, a bitter heart. On your journey through planet Earth. Because no matter how good you are there will always be haters of your star. But always remember, life is too brief for grudges. Life is too brief for grudges. Please, do not harbor grudges in your heart. It sends you backwards instead of moving forward in your life. You may be thinking that somebody has bewitched you Watch yourself. Release yourself today. You are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.